Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a look-in on the sign of Scorpio. Now, keep in mind, these are general readings, so take what applies if it applies. You know what to do with the rest of it. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So, shoot me an email, give me a shout over the phone, it will be set up quickly, it will be done quickly. I do readings either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. Uh, also, if you want to learn tarot, I have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. And my mystery healing boxes are absolutely beautiful. They bring out the highest properties and qualities of your crystals and stones. So, give me a shout. And also, I'm doing a new reading. It's a life path reading. And they're absolutely fantastic. You want to learn more about it? You know what to do. All right. All that's out of the way. Scorps, let's see what's shaking with you this far in August 2019. <laughs> Boy. All right, Scorpio. Scorps, it seems to me that you possibly could be the glue that holds the situation together instead of something unraveling. So, let's find out what this is all about. Bottom of the deck. Hmm. Scorps, you have the two of swords. Now, this is indecisiveness, turning a blind eye. Whether this is your energy or the energy you're dealing with, you know, maybe somebody refuses to see what's really there. You know, that could be guarded. It also could be that there's maybe not enough information to make a decision yet. So, it kind of leaves you in limbo. But, Scopes, I'm kind of thinking that, you know... Somebody needs to see something or address it. So, Scorpio, let's get it. We're going to set off with the Queen of Swords. Now, here's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. Now, she is uh, very direct, precise, focus. It's almost the opposite, you know, Scorpio, of you, you know, incorporating the emotions and, you know, um, possibly being sentimental. She's not sentimental. But she will speak the truth, and it will be the truth. And if anyone can get their point across, it will be the Queen of Swords. And what's crossing you to help or hinder, Scorps, is that you have the Strength card, the Leo card. Now, this is having the courage, being brave, having the guts to persevere through anything on any level. Kind of as well stay there. So, Scorpio, it kind of seems to me, you know, maybe it is taking a lot of your energy, you know, to not add your emotions into a situation, like to hold your ground. Enforcing, I just heard. And if, the, you know, if this is normally not like you, This might be what you have to do to open someone's eyes. Now, Scorpio, you know, keep in mind this could be your energy going out there or the energy coming towards you. So maybe somebody's holding firm on something until you realize it. Whatever this is. In a friendship, partnership, love ship, any ship. But I really, really, really strongly feel that it takes everything for you to be the Queen of Swords and not be the Queen of Cups. King, Queen, don't matter, it's an energy. It might take all your energy not to incorporate your emotions in some sort of decision or situation. Now, in your foundation, Scorps, you have the Six of Rods. 
Now, here's overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from a battle and being victorious. This about getting accolades, props, recognition, winning. And I do believe that, you know, when you're right, you're right, Scorps. And I think that, you know, because you know that you're right in a situation, that you can't stay on your ground. You could feel very strongly, you know, about whatever the situation is. And that's why you're staying, you know, more analytical to it than emotional. And Scorpio, I do believe that it's probably a good, you know, decision on your part. Because if you add your emotions into this, it might make you sway, might make you bend a little bit. And the situation is, you know, more so about standing your ground and not changing your mind. So you can overcome this. Now, what's crowning your whole reading here, Scorpio, is that you have the Ten of Cups. Ride that unicorn. <laughs> Emotional fulfillment at its finest. Happy house, happy spouse, happy life. Four leaf clovers everywhere. <laughs> Emotionally content, everyone. You know, it's it's like having a harmony. And Scorpio, I do believe that that's your goal. You know, to be emotionally content. In order to get there, you might have to keep the emotions out of it. For now. This might exert a lot of your energy here, Scorpio. But like I said, when you're right, you're right. When you know, you know, something is right or the way it's supposed to be done or something, you're not going to bend or sway. Now, Scorpio, it could easily be that maybe you're dealing with, you know, an air sign and it's all about the facts, the figures, and numbers. It's taking all your strength, you know, not to come unraveled. So that's another possibility for some Scorpios. Because in your recent past, Scorps, you have the Eight of Rods. Now this is reciprocated communication going back and forth, whether you're emailing, texting, Skyping, face-to-face, -face, don't matter. It's keeping those communications opened. And with honesty. You know, there's not going to be any mixed signals. I think you're making sure that, that everything is like the Queen of Swords, you know, very direct. Buggy. And again, Scorps, good call. You know what I mean? The quicker something gets, you know, seen or addressed, the quicker you can get it behind you. Because going into your future, Scorps, you have... The Eight of Pentacles. Now, here is, you know, put your nose to the grindstone. You could be learning a new skill, a, you know, a craft, a trade. You could be pouring your all your energy into you, making you the best person you could be. It could be you putting all your energy into making something work. Or scopes. Somebody's putting their energy into making you see something. Maybe this is an issue, you know, that hasn't been addressed. It's kind of been linger, lingering around and either you or them need to, you know, get past it, deal with it. But how people see you in this situation? Scoops, you get the sun card, most positive card in the whole deck, your happy, happy card, you know. Feeling like you're a part of life. Exuberant. Positive. Very, very positive. So, Scorpio, when they're looking at you like this, that, you know, even though you're standing your ground, even you're staying firm, you know, and whether it's you being very analytical and precise and you're seeing the glass as half full instead of half empty. And you know as well as I do, Scorpio, positive brings positive to you. 
the negative will bring negative to you. And when they're seeing you in this positive light, I think you'll get your resolution, you know, quicker. Because in your environment, Scorpio, you have the Sagittarius card of temperance. Now, this is about balance, my friend. Getting your head and your heart on the same page, staying even keel. It's also a card of patience. So, if you have to call on some patience until somebody sees, you know, what needs to be seen. You, them, them, you. It might not come overnight. <laughs> you know, it might... Staying positive, staying optimistic. I really think, Scorpio, that you can make somebody see something that maybe they didn't see before. Or you, them. Now, it might take strength. It might, it might take guts. Maybe holding back your line. Not waking up. Not coming unraveled. And Scorpio, I can see how this might even test your patience. Because in your hopes and fears, hmm, you have the Seven of Swords, the Thief card. In the Medieval Cats, it's the Cat that eats Canary. And if this is someone who says, you know, sorry, don't know where the bird went. You know, you know, they know, you know. What happened to that bird? <laughs> and this is where, you know, there's no playing around. This is where you stand. And stand strong. I'm not going to get emotional. I'm going to get really analytical. And this kind of energy, Scorps, might test your patience. I shouldn't say might. Will test your patience. If you, think, if you think somebody's toying with you, you know, not taking you seriously, and you're, you know, having all you can do not to unleash on them, you will have somebody see something in a different light, Scorpio, and I do believe that you will get that contentment. Hold your ground. Do those facts, figures, and numbers. Keep communication open. Because your outcome card, Scorpio, is the Ace of Wands. Now, here's the universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. This is a brand new course of action, a brand new way of moving on something, Scorps. So, if something didn't work before, or somebody couldn't see, you know, what had to be seen in whatever ship... You're going to find that new way to do it. And you're going to act on it. Maybe it's a new way of addressing things. Maybe it's a new way of getting your bird back. Or getting a confession, I just heard. Either way, Scorps, stay in that energy of facts, figures, and numbers. And don't incorporate your emotions until this is settled Stay positive. Because in the end, Scorpio, come on, Woody. Like you know you will. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.